Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are going to take a look at one of the new feature in Power Apps that is still in preview but very interesting, that is cards. So I am on my make.powerapps.com and on the left side, you must have started seeing this cards is in preview. So what are cards? So basically like if you have watched my earlier video, I have created one or a couple of videos for adaptive cards with SPFX where we can use the Viva dashboards where those cards can be shared as well into the teams. So the same feature or the same cards functionality has been now available within Power Apps with a low code solution. So what we can do with cards is we can create many apps within Power Apps that can be shared within teams to for, for an interactive uh, purpose. For example, like if I wish to share any card where I would just want some feedback or some input from my Teams channel, then that person would just respond to that card within Teams and that data would be saved based on my connectors, whatever connector I would be using with my card into some data source. So that sounds like very interesting. So if you look at these cards preview feature, I can click on this create. So it will give you like uh, some learning resources where you can just start taking a dig at what are these cards and how to start building your cards. So I'll just go to create a card to give you a walkthrough how, how the cards look like and what are the features or the actions you can do with the cards. So let's see. So I'll just name this as a good morning card because I am going to create one uh, good morning thought of the day card for my teams for my team channel so that my team should able to just input their thoughts for the day so i'm just creating this and now you see like in the design pane i just have these three uh area like where i can just type in the title i can have the sub heading and as now later on i can start moving the controls or adding the controls from this input area so default you see like this plus insert options are available for me in this designer page and on the right hand side i have these properties for these controls so as in as soon as i actually go to this tribute and se uh, select my main screen you can see like i have this adaptive card option properties and advanced so there are some property on show so whenever this card would be shown i can tie up one this power fx that means a function on show so for example i need to show the username welcome message for example welcome christian so that thing i am going to tie up over here just setting up the variable uh, the current user when the connector would be available of course because we are right now having uh, limited connectors with the card so I'll show you I will talk about that in a while so before that like I'll just give you a brief like what is available right now what you can do so over here in the properties we can tie up on show what should be shown we have this fallback language options and minimum height for these cards and on, on the top of side you can see like we have this JSON so JSON is gives a detailed JSON for this adaptive card the same as like we created the earlier cards for the viewer dashboard where you can start like showing up or updating few of the UI elements over there in the JSON itself but you can just skip it because it's a low code so you can just work with this card area and minimize your this area so that you should not be bothered so now what we can do we can go to our screen so you can see like we have this main screen and we can add multiple screens as well for example after submitting my thought i need to navigate to the thank you screen so i'll have one more screen over here i can just put that name as a thank you and this thank you screen after uh, submitting the thought we would just give a thank you message so i'll just remove this as thank you for submitting thought of the day so we started in a reverse way like we created this thank you screen first and then move to my main screen so now over here i'll just put up this good morning and i wish to show the name as well 
the only thing is like right now the office 365 username connector is not there so i would not able to fetch that thing but yeah so definitely because it's in preview so soon we are going to have those additional connectors with the cards so right now i i can just skip it and just add please submit your thought of the day and i'll just add one text box over here from the insert i'll go to input and add this text box and i wish to have this multi line text box then there is a property section which automatically appeared up over here so i'll just go to this multi line and select that so that i have a more area and in the name i'll just say this text as thought of the day and this name i am going to use while setting up my variables and doing a patch operation all right so now i need to insert one button so i'll just say button and as we used to work in the power apps with any button so on select we can have operation bind it the function bind it over here before that i'll just rename it i'll just say submit and style you can just pick this style based on what you wish to so though like not not much options but yeah it's fine it's in preview so after this submit will just start adding one data source and i'll show you like how to add the data source so over here if you see like i see this uh, cylinder option so that's same as in power apps where we can add the data sources so right now if i still try to search for connectors i will not get any connectors because only dataverse connector is available for cards right now and per the communication from microsoft the other connectors are going to be available very soon so just tune for that just wait for it we'll be having more connectors to play around so right now i'm just connecting to my dataverse and i'll just find my table which i created thought of the day so the table is just having two columns so nothing complex about it just two columns name and thought and i have connected now you see like this x option so this is variable so by default this data source table name is created as variable but i'll be creating more variables i as i need to save the data from this input and as well as the name of the submitter so i'll just create variable so let's say this variable is where submitted by and you see like i have two options persistence is a temporary variable so yes it's a temporary because this is going to be changed whenever a person submits a new thing and permanent is like where like value would not be reset so if you wish to work uh, across your instance of your app then you can just create those variables so i can just save it and create a new one where thought of the day and this would be again text temporary i'll just save it so now i have these variables created and now i'll go back to my this submit button and now i'll start setting up using the function same we used to use in power apps that set variable the one thing which i found is like uh, this fx feature power fx feature in cards is still a bit of annoying because it takes times to validate your expressions and kind of slow so let's set that variable where submitted by so i have typed but i'm still waiting for the intelligence yeah now it's there it's slow and the value i'll just hard code that value right now because i don't have that fetching the current users connector and i'll set the other variable as where thought and this time i'll set that from the multi line text box is still trying to figure that out that what is my variable and it takes time to validate it where thought yeah now we got it 
and now I'll set this from this text box so text box was having name as thought of the day yeah so these two variables are set in the same fashion where we used to do for power apps and now we are going to do a patch operation on my data source so now over here so I've just typed in patch so that my data can be submitted you'll see what parameters this patch is having because this patch function I found is having different set of parameters which we used to have in power apps so I believe like it's they're still working on it so let's wait to get, get that corrected I've typed in but it's still resolving and the parameters which patch that usually takes is three like where we specify the data source name and then the base record and then what we are patching but in this patch what I found is it's it's just asking for two parameters the base record and the and the, the new record which we wish to insert so now it resolved it now we are going to just save our app and this card would be just saved so now you see like we have this option of playing it so I can directly play it and you have this option of like changing the uh, mode for teams like you can see like what how the card would look like on the teams if it's dark mode then it will be dark and light it will be in light mode so now let's just play it once so it is loading into that card view and over here on the right hand side you see like we have options for debug so that's interesting that we have three options that memory so memory actually shows all the variables which we are passing so what I mean it will help you to read the variables which we are setting at the runtime just to see like uh, your variables are setting properly or not if something is wrong then you can just fix that out in the JSON we have this entire the adaptive card JSON like how the columns are being formatted it's one column uh, layout two column layout and and in the info you will get the information of this card username the environment ID like for which environment we are creating it and once it's done like I'll just do a task that task thought and I'll just submit I am expecting that data to be saved and get this thank you submitting message so once your card is ready you can just simply go to send copy this full URL over here go to your teams I'll just log into my teams and you can simply copy paste this link into any of your team's channel and it will start appearing up as a card within your team's channel so I'll just pick this one of my team and I'll just do a new conversation and paste this card I just pasted this card and click on send so now you see this card has been sent I scroll up this is my card which is rendered into teams Within power this power app card and now I can submit my test thought of the day and submit it it will save my this thought of the day into my data verse table as in as a new record but uh, we have hard coded the name of the person submitter because the connector is not available for us to fetch the current user so now we are getting thanks for submitting so these are the small adaptive cards which we can create for our teams for mini interaction for saving the enterprise data collecting the feedback and all that stuff so this is what like I, the utility I found for these cards you may also try your hand on this because it's pretty much in preview so for example this writing of these functions are still like takes time to validate takes time to uh, resolve but yeah it's in preview so let's wait for it to be a to be a full fledged product but I, I really liked it so if you want to just create one quick components and just have that placed into teams to collect feedback this is the right one just go for that so we'll, we'll keep uh, talking about these cards in our next videos like when these kids mature so that's it for today thank you